If you remember from my previous video on Hogwarts Legacy, we discussed how the last update caused issues when using ray tracing and failed to address any big issue the game has since launch. And since then, Avalanche Software hasn't released any update or hotfix to address these problems. So today in this video, I'll show you how to downgrade the game to the previous version and fix the ray tracing problem. So without any further ado, let's get going. But before that, today's video is sponsored by Awesome. Are you tired of being stuck at your desk all day? Are you searching for the freedom to use your computer from your mobile device? Look no further than Awesome Remote Desktop. This is a free to download software that allows you to access your desktop computer using your mobile device anywhere at any time. And it's available for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Additionally, you can play your preferred PC games with ease, like here I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy from my phone, and the game feels very responsive thanks to Austin's ability to support up to 144 FPS. Furthermore, they offer a lot of features such as fully customizable keyboard for game controls. For example, I want to use my broom, but the top key is missing. All I need to do is go to edit, keyboard, and add the top key and customize it. And now I can easily access my broom and all items. And they offer great prices for paid versions, and you can save up to 40% on your purchase. And they even have a smart power plug that allows you to shut down or wake up your PC remotely using your mobile device, making remote control even more convenient with fewer drawbacks. The first 200 people who download and use this code will get 7 day free trial. So don't miss this opportunity, go and download now and use the code at the description. And big thanks to Awesome for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to our topic. Now before you do anything, make sure you have at least 80GB of free space on your drive. And to revert the game to the previous version, you need to go and open the run window using the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. And here you type in this command to open Steam console. And in this console you input this command to download the previous version files. After that you'll see a message indicating that the download has started. Unfortunately, you won't see anything showing the download progress, but when everything is done, you'll get a message like this saying depot download complete. After that, you go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, content, app 990080 and then depot 990081. And here copy all files and paste them in your Hogwarts Legacy folder and replace. And it's done. And to prevent Steam from updating the game next time, you can go to properties like here and then go to updates and here choose only update this game when I launch it. And this should give you the option to ignore any new update when you launch the game. Or you can just switch Steam to offline mode which should prevent the game from getting any updates. And as you can see here, reversion to the previous update fixed ray tracing. And this will also allow you to install some useful modes, like this one called Ascendio, which should improve stability and fix stuttering and FPS drops. And I highly recommend checking it out, since it's easy to install and better than tweaking the engine INI file manually. And that's it for this quick video. I hope you like it and find it useful. If you did leave a like and if you didn't leave a dislike, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.